Hi everyone, welcome to Triple M Adventures with Build. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. This video is an OpenTX video. I'm going to go through the settings so that you can have crow brakes on your model and they are activated or deactivated by your throttle. So let's switch over to my computer and I will go through the settings in Companion. Now the first thing we're going to look at, it seems a little bit out of order, but it, out of order, but it isn't. We need to set up a logical switch. Now the first two lines there, LO1 and LO2, logical switch one and two, are set up for a safe throttle. Now I suggest you always set up with a, an electric plane, you always set up a safe throttle. So these two first two lines are for that. Then we are gonna add LO3 and LO4, which are to do with our crow brakes. So the first one for our crow brakes, LO3 is A, is smaller than X, where V1 is the throttle. Then we're going to set a limit of minus 25 for V2. And that's everything for that line. Then in LO4, we're going to say and LO1, which is the one up the top, nothing in V2, and then switch, in my case, switch E in the back position. Now, you will notice that logical switch 4 is referencing logical switch 1. So if you didn't have a safe throttle, you would have had to actually have three lines, which is line one and then three and four. But because I've got a safe throttle, I'm referencing that one in my second logical, in my uh, logical switch three and four. So that is the logical switches we need to have. Now let's move on to the global variables. I'm going to go to flight mode and you can see down here, the GVAR1 and GVAR2, the first one is our crow break value of 50. And then the GVAR2 is flaps at 40. So we are concerned with this one. Now you would adjust this to the amount that you require to have the crow brakes to come up. So you would make the adjustment in here. There we go, that's the global variable. So then we will go to mixes and now we can get onto the additional lines. So to each aileron, because we've got two servos, channel one and we've got channel five, we need to add to a line to each. If I double click here now, you can see it's source is our logical switch four. Our weight is the GV1, which is the crow break, a global variable. Then offset is zero. We'll then, our switch is logical switch four. And then I put a slow uh, up and down adjustment of 1.5. So they don't just suddenly come up, they slowly go up and down. Okay, and then we need to do exactly the same on the second aileron. And you can see our source is LO4 again. Our weight is GV1, which is the crow, this time minus. Then the switch is LO4. And again, I put a slow movement of 1.5 seconds for each of those. Now let's just take a look at the special functions that I've set up for the crow brakes. Okay, we're gonna move on to special functions. And you can see what I've done for the switch SE that I'm using for the flaps and the crow brakes. You can see I've set up a sound when the switch E is in the forward position, flaps up, middle position, flaps down, and SE in the back position, it plays crow on. So I just wanted to show you the special functions. And as you know, if you've been following my channel, you know I like to set up these special sounds on my radio. Now let's switch over to my test rig so I can show you the crow brakes in operation. So now let's demonstrate the crow brakes on the throttle. So if I go to my, this is my flaps and my crow brakes switch here. If I click, flaps down. you can see the flaps go down. Now my throttle is midpoint. If I push, pull the switch back towards me, crow on. tell me the crow on, but they, uh, crow brakes are on, but they're not activated. They'll only act activate when I pull the throttle back and you can see they've activated. Now, if I want to go around again and I accelerate, they will go back to the normal position. Or if I'm, the crow brakes are actually on and I flick the switch back to flaps, flaps down. you see they'll go down and then, and there we go. That's the crow brake on throttle demonstrated. And that's everything you need to do to implement crow brakes, um, which will be turned on and off by your throttle. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.